good kid. I call her a kid. She's not a kid, but she's a kid to me. She um, is kind and um, complicated. She's kind of a little quirky, but she has the greatest personality. She's always up to do things, wants to do fun stuff. Well, Melanie has Down syndrome. She has some definitely health issues. Um, she has a speech impediment that makes it difficult for her to communicate. So a lot of things she has to maybe show you or um, she has a hard time getting words out. Yeah, where was this one taken? Hey, hey. Is that your aunt's house? She gets up and then she gets herself dressed. Puts her dirty clothes in the hamper. She's very self-sufficient that way. She comes into the kitchen and staff provide her medication for her and she takes it. And then staff prepares breakfast for her. We have her wipe off the table. She might need a prompt to do that, but she does that on her own. Three days a week she goes to program for Easter Seals and she does a lot of activities throughout the day with that. She is thriving with independence, being in this, in this house, in this program. She's very happy to be here. This is her home. It's an amazing journey that has happened to her. She says she'll visit her family, but she wants to come home. So she feels like this is her home, and there's nothing you can make better than for her to be like, this is my home. We're working on different things all the time, so it's a continuous work in progress. Um, we're looking at having her learn her address and phone number. That's been difficult for her, just to memorize it. But we do repetition every day. You want to go look for some DVDs? Okay. Okay. I don't know where she'd be if there wasn't for Easter Seals. She would be um, probably having a less fulfilling life. I'm very grateful to Easter Seals for the um, opportunity that she's been given. I've seen huge changes in her since she's been here to be on her own. And this is the best way that she can be on her own. Where's your home? Here? Yeah. This is your home. And I love this job. There's not a day that I don't want to not come here. And I know I'm making a difference. You can see that Melanie's happy. And that that's probably our biggest goal is we want our individuals to have rights and freedoms and you can tell that she's very happy with that. She gets to live her life on her terms and she's happy doing it. Who's in this picture with you? Daddy. She lost her dad about four years ago and they were very tight. They were very close and I'm sure he's smiling down right now. We help people with disabilities be as independent as possible. We help them live out their life as full members of our community. People with disabilities want to do the same things you and I do. They want to work, they want to be valued, they want to have friends, and we help them achieve those goals. We have to set priorities as a, as a society, as a state of what's important to us. And I think supporting individuals um, with disabilities is a really important thing for us to do. It's honoring the dignity of every human being and what their capabilities are and what their potential is and allowing them to pursue whatever that is. Many people with developmental disabilities need lifetime care. So we have a choice as a community. We can put them in institutions and nursing homes, which is expensive and inhumane, or we can help them live in the community and be as independent as possible. We can teach them the skills that maximizes their ability, whatever that is. That's good not only for the individual with a disability and their family, but it's good for the entire community. That happiness that comes, that fulfillment, that dignity that people are allowed to have when we embrace the opportunities that are out there for people with disabilities is something that ripples across society. And so it obviously has an impact for that individual, but for their neighbor to see that individual working and having those interactions and then that spreading across our state um, is an important thing. I think that that just, it, it should color how we view the world and what our priorities are. The hope and opportunity that Easter Seals offers to people with disabilities would not be possible without the support of our community. Our donors, volunteers, neighborhoods that welcome people with disabilities, and our champions in Jefferson City make all of this possible.